Our first problem then for calculation of stress change. A rectangular concrete slab with a width of 3 meters and a length of 4.5 meters rests on the surface of a saw mass. The load on the slab is 2025 kilonewtons. Determine the vertical stress increase at a depth of 3 meters directly under the slab. Let's start the question then by drawing um, the information given to us in the question. So uh, here is our slab, 3 meters by 4.5 meters, and on the plan view um, we know that our point of interest, let's just call it A, is at the center of this slab. Now uh, if we look at this slab uh, side view we know that A, again, is on the centre line of this slab and is 3 metres below the slab, which is of importance. Now that we've got our diagram, we can begin to think about how to tackle this question. It says a rectangular concrete slab. This automatically means we should be looking at Fadham's chart. Um, to use Fadham's chart, we know we need to calculate a value for N and a value for M. N is equal to B over Z, Z being the depth of uh, the depth of the point below the foundation. So in this case, our Z equals 3 meters. Um, M is equal to L over Z. Now, um, if you remember, in the tutorial I gave on calculation of stress change to do the Fadham's chart, I said that the point of interest needs to be at the corner um, of a rectangle when using the Fadham's chart. So in this scenario we need to divide uh, the slab into four equal rectangles so that the point of interest is on a corner of each of those rectangles. So, um, the value of B and the value of L um, become with respect to the rectangles that you've used to, vo to divide the slab up. So our B, in this case, equals 1.5 metres, shown here. Our L is equal to 2.25 metres, as shown again on the diagram here. So, we can go on to calculate our values for N and M. N equals 1.5 divided by 3 equaling 0.5, m equals 2.25 divided by 3 equaling 0.75. Then if we look at the Fadham's chart, if we find the point where n equaling 0.5 and m equaling 0.75 intersects, we can read a value off for the influence factor. Um, I've done it here, shown it in red, so hopefully you can follow how I've read off uh, the Fadham's chart. And I'll obtain a value for the influence factor of 0 0.105. Last bit then, before we can calculate the change in stress, delta sigma z, we need to change our value um, of load in kilonewtons into a stress because if you remember the equation for delta sigma z equals q which is the stress times the influence factor so um, to do this q is equal to 2025 divided by our area so 3 times 4.5 and that equals a value of 150 kilonewtons per meter squared or kPa whichever you prefer. Last bit delta sigma z then is equal to q which is 150 times our influence factor which we found to be 0 0.105 but remember we have to times this by 4. We times it by 4 because we have 4 equal sized rectangles and um, as I've said in a previous tutorial, we can do this times in it by 4 because they're equal and symmetrical. 
Um, we'll look at another problem where they're not, but we'll come on to that later. So you should obtain a value, um, an answer in this question of 63 kilopascals. Hopefully you managed to follow how I tackled this question. If not, then I suggest you go back to the tutorial I made on how to use uh, Fadham's chart. Um, also, don't worry too much if you don't quite get the same values for the influence factor and obviously um, the end result. As uh, long as they're in a reasonable margin, I wouldn't worry too much um, as there's always room for interpretation. So, as I say, hopefully you've got that and I'll see you in the next problem.